The coast is clear. Come on. Right behind you. I say, Octavia, what happens when he notices we've gone? Who cares? Soon we're going to be miles away. You'll never find us. Aha! <laughs> I thought you two were behaving strangely at dinner. Just where do you think you're going? Oh, uh, um, no special. Dressed like that? Makeup? (sighs) Jangly jewellery? We're off to a gathering, if you must know. You mean a party? Yes, sort of. From you, I'd expect nothing better. But as for you, Lepidus, for shame... Here I am trying to raise the 300 million sesterces we need to pay off the army. Mark's a total no-show. And now you're swanning off to some shindig. But everyone deserves a night off now, then. Why don't you come with us? No, 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 no. It it, it wouldn't be your kind of thing. I have been to parties before. Not one like this, you haven't. Oh, what's the harm? Personally, I'm rather looking forward to seeing the old place again. Lepidus! The old place? You mean... Your old villa that Cleopatra bought? Oh, now you've done it. Are you saying that Cleopatra's throwing a party and she didn't invite me? Mm. Right, that does it. Oh, gods, what are you going to do? Go with you, of course. Whatever she's up to, I need to be there. Trust me, Gaius, it's really not your scene. I'm a triumvir of Rome. I go where I choose. Carry on, Lepidus. Royal Highness, Queen Cleopatra, bids you welcome. May I take your names? Amelius Lepidus, uh, this is Octavia, and um, uh, we brought an extra guest. Is he on the list? I don't need to be. I'm Caesar. I I, I think this should cover it. Hmm? Mum's the word. Oh, look, there he is. Caesar, how silly of me. (laughs) You may enter. Guys, can we agree to keep as far away from each other as possible? Why? What's happening in there? A bit raucous, isn't it? Oh. My oh. lords, my lady, may you have a pleasant evening. Good gods! This is a sex party! You've taken me to an orgy! Yes, so please don't embarrass me in front of my friends! Rusty Quill presents Cry Havoc, Ask Questions Later Episode 15, Let Slip I know. It's so roomy now. I can hardly believe it's the same house. Look, we can't stay here. We've got our reputations to think of. I haven't got a reputation. You will do after tonight. (laughs) Come on, guys. If you're here now, might as well stick it out. (laughs) I'm not sticking anything out, thank you. There won't be any rituals involved, will there? No, they skip the religious stuff and go straight to the shagging these days. That's something, I suppose. At least it's secular. No, I'm sorry. This is obscene. We have to leave. Nobody with any sense would stay. So this waitress gives him another slap round the face. Mark. And he goes, why do you keep slapping me? All I want is a quickie. And then the school leans over and says... I think you'll find it's pronounced quiche. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, we have that one in Egypt too. Charmian, more wine for our guests. Yes, my queen. Your Majesty? Oh, Caesar. What a surprise to see you here. I'll say, who let you in? Never mind. I want to borrow you for a moment if you're not too busy getting wrecked. Yeah, sure, whatever. Do keep things civil, won't you? This is supposed to be an orgy. (laughs) He's led a sheltered life. (sighs) Guys? Do you think they're all having a good time, Charmi? I've never seen Romans looking so happy. What made you throw an orgy? Well, when in Rome. And the more relaxed they are, the more indiscreet they'll be. My queen is very wise. I need you focused tonight. 
Rome is under my roof, and we need to find out where its loyalties lie. Keep your eyes and ears open. I will not fail you. Start with Caesar. He and Mark seem to be plotting over there. We were meant to be planning how to win over the senators. That's the problem with you, Gaius. You'd rather talk than act. Look around you. I'm trying very hard not to. Everyone we need on side is right here. See, there's Restio. And isn't that Pomponius over yonder? Yes, with Restio's wife. See what I mean? These parties are a great place to schmooze. It's easy to make new friends when you're getting a leg over. Hmm, I see. Well then, from now on, this is a joint networking venture. Put that wine down, we're working. You suck the fun out of everything you know that, don't you? Our key objective, get their support and their money. All right, but how? What do we give them in return? Hello, chaps. Smashing orgy. Everyone's so friendly. Yes, yes. It's my birthday in a few weeks. I'm having lots of ideas. Wish I'd thought of this sort of caper when I still lived here. Mm. Wait, that's it. Mark, I know what we can give them. We'll offer them properties. Properties? Yes, the same way you sold this place to Cleopatra. We'll offer them homes on Palatine Hill. I don't think there are any places going vacant near us, are there? No one lives forever. We'll sell a few deeds to the highest bidders, and when the occupants die, they can move right in. Uh, Won't the original families mind? They might want to inherit. They can talk to the courts, which will take them years, and meanwhile we'll have paid off the armies. Surprisingly ruthless. I like it. Okay, who should we ask first? Uh, How about... Silo and Naso. They're greedy and ambitious. They'd love to live on the hill. And they have the worst commutes of anybody in the Senate. How do we find them? This place is a sea of arse. Uh, no, look, there's Naso. You offer him the house of Aterius. I'll offer Silo the house of Rumpo. On it. What about me? You forget the whole thing. Can do. Good luck, all. <laughs> so that's their plan, is it? Raising money so they don't have to strike a deal with Cleopatra. Finally, I've got something to tell her. Charmian, are you spying on people? (gasps) No! Uh, I mean, yes, uh, that is... uh, uh, Don't worry, it's cool. You don't have to hide anything from me. No, don't touch me. What? You can't. We're in public. Charmian, it's literally an orgy. Who's going to care? Um, Cleopatra? Again? Orgy. Perfect cover. Sorry, I can't. I'm busy now. Okay, I just want to be with you. Come on, you can spare five minutes. Sure. Okay, five minutes. Nay, so old mate, can I have a word? You can have more than that, Mark. A lot of beds available. I would, but I'm on duty, sadly. How do you fancy becoming the new owner of the House of Aterius? Uh Oh. Well, I didn't realise he was selling. A little bird tells me he might be. Four million sesterces? Oh, 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 too rich for my blood. And the wife's happy where we are. Sorry. Ah, oh, well, worth a shot. Come find me if you fancy a fumble. This is tougher than it looks. Hi, Mark. Have we met already? It's hard to tell at a party like this. What, you, Valeria? Has tricks? Not bad. Couldn't help but overhear your little chat with Naso. No privacy around there, is there? <laughs> if it's cash you need, I may be able to help you out. Oh, yeah? In return for what? The house of Rumpo. That's worth four million of anyone's money, especially my late husband's. Ah, no can do on that front. That property's already being... All right, you sod. Four and a half. Wow. Okay. Now you're talking. But I want something extra. You see, there's a wager that says I can't pull a certain handsome young triumvir, so... Way ahead of you. I guess I am quite young for a statesman. (laughs) I don't mean you, you silly twat. I mean Caesar. You want Gaius? What? He's cute. Sort of feckless. One just wants to eat him up. 
In fact, to win the bet, I have to bite him on the bottom. Sorry, could you repeat that? Bite his bottom. Just the once. The money's immaterial, but it's a matter of honor, you understand? I really don't. You can arrange it, though, can't you? If you did, I'd be very interested in that house you're selling. Five million, was it? <sighs> All right, Valeria. For a pal. I'll try my best. And I've been making plans with Quintus for the next season. What, what we want to do, who we want to do it with. Yeah. What's wrong? You absolutely know we want you, right? Soon, Mia will be the biggest star we've ever had. Yeah, actually, I, um, I might be done with the theatre for now. What? Why? What do you mean? Is it anything I've done? No, it's complicated. Charmian, what is it? No, don't touch me. She's watching. Okay, sorry. I can't deal with this. You can't deal with this? No. Playing undercover, it was hot to begin with, but now it's getting... This isn't a game. I'm working. And you've had your five minutes. Had my five... Don't speak to me like I'm... Like I'm a client. I'm not. I... I just need you to leave me alone for a few hours. Why should I? Shamian, I'm not ashamed to be seen with you. And I don't want you to be either. I'm not ashamed. I... Fine, if you want to talk, come on. Let's get a room. That's what I've wanted for us all evening. Mark, there you are. How'd you get on? Any buyers? Naso is a no-go. How about you? Sillo's on board. His eyes lit up when I offered him the house of Rumpo. Four million sesterces. Ah. What? The widow Valeria. I just sold her the same house for five million. What? But you weren't meant to... I know, but it's what she wanted. And hey, five beats four. Well, yes, but what do I tell Sillo? Tell you what, you leave him to me. If you go and thrash out the details with Valeria. She's, uh, very interested in you. Oh, really? Yeah. You might say she wants to get her foot over your threshold. And she's especially keen on your rear quarters. What are you talking about? You'll find out. Enjoy yourself. Getting a foot over my threshold? Wait a minute. Oh. So that's his game. Eh? What's whose game? Lepidus, it's Mark. He's offering up my house for sale as well. But I didn't know you were selling. I'm not. But Valeria's offering five million for the house of Rumpo, and she wants to snag mine as well. God. Well, that sort of money's not to be sniffed, eh? I know, but even so. Uh, couldn't you rent it out? Maybe a wing or two? We need the cash. Mm, I suppose sacrifices must be made. You lost your house, after all. Exactly. Though I'm having a lovely time at yours. You are looking for a new place, aren't you? I'll get round to it, I'm sure. Uh, well, if it isn't Gaius Octavius. Has Mark spoken to you about my proposition? Oh. Yes, he has. And... I'm sure you and I can come to some arrangement. We can. He did raise the little extra I was after. <laughs> More than a little, I'd say. <laughs> but he did mention my rear quarters, yes. And you're willing? Well, I don't mind the occasional imposition, as long as it's only somewhere around the back. I would always respect your boundaries. <laughs> and this would be on a strictly temporary basis. Maybe three months of the year? Three months of the year? If that's long enough to get your money's worth. Mm. Well, let's start with an evening and see where we go, shall we? As you like, Valeria. Shall we go and find somewhere quiet? We, we've clearly got a lot to get through. Gosh, well, if you're sure... <laughs> Excuse us, Lepidus. By all means. And may I say, I had no idea you were so flexible. Is he? Hmm. Be still, my beating heart.
This is how it works. <gasps> You're being so unreasonable. No, I'm not being unreasonable. Will you listen to me? Yeah. Oh, so sorry. Yeah, occupied. Get your own room. Uh, who was that? Never mind. We'll try the baths. Sorry. I knew we should have locked it. That would only look more suspicious. You have to understand, I work for Cleopatra. That takes priority. What does it? Like a day out in Rome? Like rescuing me on a pirate ship? You've lost me. You prioritised me then. No, actually, you prioritised us. And I shouldn't have. It's dangerous. I'm not living a double life for the fun of it. I'm doing it because... I don't even know why. I've gone mad. I'm insane. There, that's an explanation. No, it's too neat for me. I think you like being your own person for once. Yes, maybe, probably. So let's keep doing it. It isn't my choice. Oh. She's already furious with me. She's forbidden me from stepping foot in the theatre again. Oh, well, we'll soon see about that. No, don't! I'm telling her you're part of my company whether she likes it or not. Don't you understand what will happen if you do that? Yeah, she might lighten up for once. Octavia! I don't have to let on that I know you're a spy. I'm just a concerned theatre producer who wants their star actor to keep star acting. There's no point. But Cleopatra isn't staying forever. And she'd never leave me behind. I'm her servant. She demands two things from me. Ability and loyalty. And do you know what will happen to me if she suspects for even a moment that you and I are... Are what? Charmian? Octavia. This isn't going to work anymore. Oi, Lepidus. You seen Scylla? It's like looking for a needle in a haystack around here. All cats look grey in the dark, eh? <laughs> oh, it's been a lovely orgy. I've met so many people from so many angles. I wish I could say the same. Gaius has ruined the whole bloody night for me. Only he could take an orgy and make it about admin. <laughs> I'm sorry, you startled me. You brainless tit. What in thunder was that? Uh, it's all right, everyone. Just a harmless misunderstanding. Harmless? I just fell flat on my face thanks to you. Gaius? She slipped on the soap. Well, if you hadn't screamed loud enough to wake the dead. I only yelped because you bit me on the... on the... Arse. Thank you. <laughs> well, you agreed to it. I did not. I was selling real estate. You wanted rooms. Wanted rooms? You are buying the house of Rumpo, aren't you? No, she isn't. What? I'm buying the house of Rumpo. Oh, hello, Stillo. There he is, Mark. Cheers, mate. Bit late. You're buying the house of Rumpo. Mark, what are you trying to pull? Uh, well, actually... He uh... tried to sell me the house of Aterius earlier, and it turns out Aterius isn't even selling. How do you know? He told me. Oh. What is going on here? Ah, Cleopatra. Your Majesty, a small issue has arisen, easily rectified. These two have been trying to sell property in the Palatine all night. Have they indeed? The same house to the same buyers. With people still living in them. What's your game, Gaius? Oh, well, I mean, uh... <clears throat> Mark? It was your idea. Lepidus? Uh, well, um, I, I, I am shocked, shocked to find that fraud is being committed here. It's brought this whole orgy into disrepute. Lepidus? Well, I didn't know what to say. Lepidus is right. We just wanted to have a nice, sociable orgy, and now you've spoilt it for everyone! Yes! Can't you let us have some fun for one night? Oh, that's rich! I'm only trying to safeguard the Republic while you look fiddle about getting pissed as if Rome was going to stand for a thousand years! Gaius! But it isn't! It bloody isn't! Not unless we work at it! Don't you realise what's happening out there? Don't you get what's at stake? I'm trying to save the Republic, and do any of you help? Do any of you raise a finger? No, you just stick them in your ears, or worse, and leave me to fix it all for you! Mate. I should let you all starve. <coughs> okay! Uh, look, this evening's had its ups and downs. And not in the way we wanted. <laughs> 
But, trust me, none of this will seem like a big deal tomorrow. Now, Caesar has gone home and he isn't coming back. So how about I send out for more wine, order us some nibbles, and we, all of us, get back to some good old-fashioned bonking. (sighs) Great. Wasn't sure that would work. Well saved, Mark Antony. You've caught the public mood once again. It's becoming a habit, especially when Prissy Bollocks screws up. He is becoming a problem, but that can wait. It's been a long day and I'm done playing hostess. Time to let your hair down, eh? Indeed. And if you finished being an estate agent, perhaps you'd like to do the same with me. Uh, what? Unless you'd rather not. I may have misread the signals. No, no, uh, not at all. Um, But, uh, given previous experience, just to be super clear this time, are you asking what I think you're asking? Sex. Right, gotcha, great. After all, even we're allowed to have fun occasionally. I'll tell my servants we're not to be disturbed. I've never been so humiliated. Octavia, piss off. Octavia? Oh. Your Highness? Great orgy. You're crying. I'm fine. Good night. What's up with her? This is why you don't get involved. So this is where you've been all evening, when you had work to do? Your Majesty, I am... Octavia has left. There were tears upon her cheeks, just as there are upon yours. I don't... I I, I can't... See that our guests are well looked after. We will discuss this in the morning. You have disappointed me. Your Majesty, In the morning, Charmian. Cry Havoc, Ask Questions Later is a podcast distributed by Rusty Quill and licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Sharealike 4.0 International License. The series is created by David K. Barnes and directed by Amani Zardo. This episode was written by Robert Valentine and David K. Barnes. It was edited by Lori Ann Davis, Annie Fitch, Catherine Seaton and Catherine Renella with scoring by Sam Jones. Today's episode features Harry Roebuck, Kazim Tosin Amore, Sarah Lambi, Lara Sawalha, Andy Seacom, and Sarah Aga. Cry Havoc, Ask Questions Later is produced by Natalie Winter, Catherine Lindeman, and production manager Natasha Johnston, with executive producers Alexander J. Newell and April Sumner. To subscribe, view associated materials, or join our Patreon, visit RustyQuill.com. Rate and review us online. Tweet us at The Rusty Quill. Visit us on Facebook or email us at mail at RustyQuill.com. Thanks for listening.